Our main event of Matrix Fight Night 14 is just beginning. Here we go. Abdul Badakhshi takes on Sanjit Budwar and the crowd roars as we get ready for the final introductions. Inside, for the last time, El Voce del Colosseo, Jared Kyle. Ladies and gentlemen, for the chance to be the new featherweight champion, Abdul Azim Badakhshi! You know, they say sometimes that serendipity has a way of bringing something that someone wants together. Despite fighting through odds, despite fighting through challenges, and if anybody understands the meaning of odds and challenges, it's Abdul Azim Badakhshi who's going to try to make history happen for himself inside the Matrix Fight Night cage by becoming the new Phantom Bay champion, walking out to the famed John Jones entrance. The champ is here. Well, yes, Arjun. This is the biggest fight in the history of India and Afghanistan as the undisputed MFN featherweight championship is at stake. Well, back in 2022 at MFN 10, India's Sanjeev Budwar became the first featherweight champion. And now we've got a big challenger in front of him in the name of the Afghan lion, Abdul Azim Badakhshi who's been finishing his opponents in no moments. I mean, I've been watching Abdul Azim Badakhshi for a long time. I've been seeing him since 2014, 2015. This man has been a warrior at every weight class he's fought in. He can't, he's been talking about the fact that he's been wanting to be champion for a long time. He's been wanting his opportunity to compete. But he's got... I've seen this man strike. I've seen this man wrestle. I've seen this man dominate. And the problem is that nobody's ever had time to adapt to his game because he's been devastating in every department. The only time he had a little bit of struggle was against Sasha Sharma. And he came out in the third round and threw a flying knee that sent Sasha to another planet. So I can't wait to see how this fight unfolds. Well, Abdul is an absolute assassin. He's fought in different weight divisions, right from bantamweight up till the welterweight. And yesterday at the press conference, Arjun, we asked him if he would like to go up to a, a different weight class and get the belt after this fight. He says he would like to fight Darhan, who's the current welterweight champion, next for the title. Well, one title fight at a time here for Abdul Badakhshi. He still has a tough, tough task ahead of him. Sanjit Budwar, the former champion, unfortunately had to renege the title because of a failed weight cut. But that doesn't matter anymore because the vacant title, if today Abdul Badakhshi wins the title, he becomes a champ. But if Sanjit Budwar wins, he does not. The title stays vacant. I want to tell you that the MFN featherweight title as on date is vacant. Because Sanjeev Bhai can't wait to give up. Ladies and gentlemen, the former featherweight champion, Sanjeev Badwar! MFN ke Bhutpur featherweight champion, Sanjeev Budwar, who all of the people know the name of Silent Killer, is on the way to the cage. Devi and Sachano, this is the main event of MFN 14. Where the MFN featherweight title is with Sanjeev Budwar and his brother Abdul Azim Badakhshi, the Afghan lion. You know, somewhere I feel Sanjeev Budwar at the press conference, you could see the disappointment in himself that he was unable to make weight. He was unable to make weight for that title. 
that he proudly represented. And you know, I always hate it when when a, when a, a title is stripped off a champion for reasons that are not well. You can say a weight cut is the fault of a team, a weight cut is the fault of a champion, a challenger, or maybe it's time for him to move up a weight class because if you can't make weight anymore in a certain weight class, it's time to move up. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise for his body because he realizes that okay. I move up a weight class now. I left the belt, and it takes a lot of pressure off when you don't defend your belt. This fight is for the vacant belt, but win, lose, or draw. Now he doesn't take that belt home. Well, it happens. You know, it happens sometimes that uh, fighters don't make make weight. So it's been very unfortunate uh, for Sanjeev Budwar to miss the weight. However, he regrets it, and he says there's going to be. No issue in putting up a performance tonight. Let, let's look at his keys to victory. Sanjeev Budwar is a silent killer. He has to establish his lead hand, close range safely, and keep guard up at all times. Because we have seen Sanjeev has a very rare fighting stance, wherein he keeps his feet very wide, and he's more vulnerable, especially against a striker and a grappler like Abdul Azim Badakhshi. The first thing that I would say that you know, I'm sure his corner is guiding him on is to keep his hands up. Abdul Badakhshi is a very technical striker and can put you to sleep from short in a short distance from short strikes. He's got heavy, heavy top control. But Sanjit Bhuva, like you said, is a killer. He tells he seems to find a way regardless. And don't sleep on that left hand of his. He can try and put you to sleep as well. It's going to be a fight for the ages, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready for the vacant featherweight title of Matrix Fight Night Promotions. Here we go, tail of the tape. Both fighters approximately the same age. Big height and reach advantage to Abdul Badakhshi. Both fighters weighed in. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Sajid Budwa missed his weight. Abdul made weight. And both fighters have a unique style that's going to create fireworks here tonight. Let's go inside the cage for one final time to Jared Kyle, the voice. And no! Gentlemen, are you ready for mayhem? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event of the evening. This fight is scheduled for five rounds in the featherweight division. The judges scoring this fight, Kate Sidar, Ben Cartledge, Franco Ranure, and Manas. And as the action begins, the referee for the fight, Jim Perdias. Now, for the thousand in attendance and fight fanatics watching around the country, this is the mayhem you all been waiting for. Live from the Sold Out Arena in Noida, India. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is for the MFN featherweight title. First, presenting the challenger. He holds a professional record, 14 wins, 3 losses. Standing at 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 65.40 kilograms. Fighting out of MMA Matrix with knees of steel and fists of glory. Hailing from the heart of Afghanistan, fear the unstoppable, the Afghan lion, Abdul Azim Badakhshi! And now, fighting out of the blue corner, he stands. Five feet seven inches tall, weighted at 67.7 kilograms, fighting out of Warriors Cove, representing Ariana. He is the former MFN for the weight champion of the world, the savage, the silent killer, Sanjeev Bhutwa.
event time. We've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Step back. Let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. Bacon, band a bacon featherweight title. Two contenders. One former champion. One challenger. Well, this is the main event for the ages. And it's time for the crowd to get loud and roaring. I don't know how this fight's going to go. I just can't wait for it to get started. Jim Perdios, the referee. Both fighters touch gloves. A lot of respect between these two men. Oh! Opens up immediately with a head kick. Another head kick by Abdul Badakshi and Sanjit Budwar got a high guard up. Throws in a left hand. This fight has already gone longer than his last fight. Where he ended his last fight in literally 10 seconds. But Sanjay Budwar is a very, very wily veteran. He's going to take his time, establish his range, pick his striking. And Sanjit is cocking up that. I like the way Sanjit is defending. His right hand is up, keeping his face safe. Well, Sanjit here knows that his guard, his stance has an issue and that's why he's keeping his right hand up. Trying to save himself no, from the assassin Abdul Azim Badakshi. No, Sanjit has to just stay calm. He needs to stay calm and stay out of range for the first five minutes. Because sometimes you might need to weather the storm at the beginning. And that's what Abdul Badakshi is. He's an absolute storm. But he's a very tactical fighter. I've seen him fight multiple rounds and he's highly unpredictable. Abdul Azim Badakshi also has a lot of international experience. So far undefeated at Matrix Fight Night. Well, he's also known as the Afghan Gracie Killer because he's been defeating a lot of Jiu-Jitsu black belts. And that speaks volumes about his ground game. Well, Sanjit Budwar trying to find that chin of Abdul Badakshi. But to no avail so far, Abdul moving very, very well. Staying out of range, moving back perfectly. Abdul trying. What I like about the fact is that Abdul is staying patient. He's not trying to rush in. He's not trying to do anything. And Sanjit Budwar has is very, very smartly covering himself. Oh! Spin, spinning kick didn't quite land clean, but Sanjit Budwar is absolutely in this fight. But I wish he'd throw a jab. There you go. He's trying, he's trying mixing it up a little bit with his strikes. But every time he throws that right kick, he needs to watch out for the switch. And it looked Ab Abdul was setting up a flying knee there. A bit of slip there. He needs to watch out for that check hook as soon as he steps in though. That big right hand. Oh, and another spinning kick here by Abdul Azim Badakshi. Spinning back kick to the body that lands. Not flush though, grazingly inside. Leg kick. Looks like a low blow here. Sanjeet complaining of a low blow. Let's take a look at that in the replay if possible if that was a low blow. Let's see how bad it was. Okay, here we go. Yep, straight in the bread basket. <laughs> Oil checks and bread baskets. <laughs> bread basket is where you keep your eggs at. Exactly. <laughs> well, I don't. Well, you know what? He gets five minutes to recover. I suggest he take that entire five minutes. Fighter gets five minutes to recover and referee Jim Perdios is all over it. Badakshi cannot go back to his corner. He needs to stay in a neutral corner. Rules ke anusar, kisi bhi low blow pe, fighter ko five minutes milte hai recover hone ke liye. Aur yahan pe, Sanjeev Budhwar, pura time lete hai recover karne ke liye. You can see them trying to coach from here. That's why there are neutral corners. And you can see referee Jim Perdios warning the corners. Here we go. Back to his feet. Let's take a look at the replay again. Nice little inside leg kick straight to the cup. None of it was intentional, of course. It just happened. Abdul certainly wouldn't want to end the fight on those terms because he's a consummate sportsman. Both these men are.
Sanjeev Budwa taking full time to recover. Very smartly so, because it's giving him time to recover completely. He doesn't need, if he can use the entire five minutes, he absolutely should. Well, it plays in favor of Abdul Azim Badakhshi as well, because he's got five minutes to recover as well. Here we go. Yes, it kind of does. Another head kick there. And Sanjeev needs to start moving. He needs to either switch levels, change... Do something different because right now he's standing in front of Abdul Badakhshi trying to time him with that right hand. He needs to start chaining some combinations, maybe a jab, head kick. Slightly grazed him, but another kick by Abdul Azim Badakhshi. Spinning back kick attempt there. Well, we know for sure that Sanjeev has devastating dynamite hands and he's got excellent body shots, and that's what he's trying here. But Abdul Azim Badakhshi. Badakhshi is doing such a good job maintaining that range. He's keeping him on the outside. And it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of stifling him a little bit because he doesn't know how to make his entry. He's not exactly cutting him off, but he's ah. showing him different things. And now he's, and, the, and what makes it worse is that he's standing flat footed in front of him, which makes him a straight target. He's lucky that he has such a solid chin. But at this point, it's just... It just seems like he's waiting for something and I, I don't know what is, it is exactly. Padakshi though, taking his time. Nice front kick attempt there. Padakshi there, dominating the action here. Oh, big right hand by Sanjeev nice. Budwar. Sanjeev Budwar showing that he has some fire him in, in him as well and he's a former champion for a reason, comes over with a big, big, big swing and catches Badakshi. But Badakshi now getting a little, seems to be getting a little excited. He's trying to land something with a sense of urgency. Less than 20 seconds to this epic round number one. Oh. Hang on, that landed on the thigh, but now he, he might be saying that he got an eye poke Let's see if we can get a replay of the same. Can you see? Let's check if that was an eye poke. No coaching. Okay, one second, hang on. Inside leg kick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. His eyes right there, his hand went right. That's the problem with these gloves, you know. It's, it's very common for it to happen where you, your hand is outstretched and while you're using that to maintain your range, it's very common. You can see that his left eye. Well, he gets another five minutes to uh, recover. Referee has given him five minutes to Sanjeev Budwar to recover. Karne ke liye. And Jane has a eye poke to Abdul Azim Badakshi. Dwara. Doctor's cage, mein, Sanjeev Budwar is checking. Let's see the action replay from Sanjeev Budwar. ये पहला शॉट था जहां पे एक लो लो ब्लो का कंप्लेन संजीत ने किया था डॉक्टर्स चेकिंग संजीत बुधवार हियर नो दिस टाइम द देयर वाज नो प्रॉब्लम विद द इनसाइड लेग किक इट वाज फार फ्रॉम द कप बट इट वाज अक्रॉस द थाई बट आई थिंक दैट दैट वाज आई पोक अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ एन आई पोक एंड आई जस्ट हेट इट व्हेन यू नो दिस इलीगल शॉट्स can can uh, they're not illegal you know unintentional. I mean, it's unintentional it's absolutely unintentional it's illegal but it's unintentional yeah it, it's a foul that's all it is and it's these small things that can change the outcome but i wonder what he's saying to the doctor though i hope he doesn't have a problem with his vision arjun talking about eye pokes any reference to john jones <laughs> <laughs> yeah from back in the day yes but even john jones as kind of, well, we don't see that much of John Jones anymore, so not too many eye pokes left there. But but a lot of fighters have, I think, a lot of fighters have been taught to lift the palm up instead of palm across. So you don't poke the finger, but you go upwards. And you know, I always hate it when the doctors spend this much time inside the ring. Well, especially for the main event, which is as big as this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matrix Fight Night 14. This is the main event of tonight. Now, I think we're, we're approaching the five-minute mark. 
and it's going to be a matter of you know him asking him now is he able to continue and the doctors have to give a green light i don't know why the doctors are still inside if It's been an exciting fight of nights here. Sorry, it's been an exciting <laughs> night of fights. I'm so excited. I want both of these guys to continue the action. However, doctors are here to bring in their expertise. Now it's taking a bit long. I don't. I wonder what is happening because I I don't see any communication as such. And I I want I want someone to ask Jim Perdius if it's if how long has it been because they're taking a bit long and. But I I don't understand why the corner men are coming in. It's still a pause in time. Jim Perdue was saying that no coaching allowed, no no interference from the corner. It's a, it's the doctor's decision. I know. I, I wonder how long is the time You know the referee has jurisdiction to 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 disqualify a fighter if their team doesn't listen to them as well and Sanjeev's team needs to be a little careful here because they're trying to talk to him Has it been 5 minutes we don't have a timer as such we don't have a timer and we wonder what's happening here with the doctor Yeah, because the doctor standing there, Sanjeev Budwa doesn't look like he's getting up to fight anytime soon, and I don't know what is happening exactly. Abdul Badakh is sitting in his corner, wait, wondering what is happening. I don't know what's happening, and and referee Jim Perdius is now asking him. He's got to make a decision here. I don't. What are they waiting for? But there has to be a time limit for for this, I'm sure. Well I heard Sanjeet asking for an eye drop. Is it legal? I don't know. I have we have we, we might have to ask the referee if that's legal but if in a doctor normally doctors can clean cuts they can wipe up the eye but if it's the, if they ask them if you can see or I, not that's it. I guess no application of any other kind of ointment besides wax when the fight is on. Exactly and I don't think it's it's allowed as such. and it's and it's honestly it's crossed the it's crossed the 5 minute mark and the commissioner is stepping in because it's not it's it's not exactly how it's supposed to be in MMA no it's it's already crossed 5 minutes and that that's that's the extent either they fight or you know or they call the fight off you but you but you can't take this long That's what I like to see. Here we go. Heart of a warrior, heart of a champion. And the crowd gets loud and roaring. A lot of sportsmanship between both these guys. Well, they well, said they've been friends, share a room once upon a time in Bombay, and tonight fighting for the pride, fighting for the title. And Badakshi more than happy to keep this contest started again. He doesn't want to win in that way. That's it. Round number 1. Bit of a strange round. It went on for more than 14 minutes. I mean, the highlights were, you know, Abdul Badakhshi taking the center, landing some strikes, nothing getting through clean, landed some good shots to the body, spinning back kicks, and uh, a lot of it was deflected on the hands, but nothing on the on the face or clean. And there was a low blow there. There was another head kick that he landed and it was unfortunate the eye poke though that took a while to sort out it's going to be interesting what happens Well that was pretty long round number 1 for this epic battle Let's see how round number 2 turns out to be
round number two. Here we go, round number two of this five-round title fight for the vacant featherweight title belt. Sanjit Bulbar both with his hands up, trying to parry those shots and land a combination that would end this fight. Immediately trying to get this fight to the mat. Abdul Badakshi not wasting any time, but good sprawl, good defense by, Badak, uh, by, by Sanjit Budwar. Abdul Badakshi unable to find his takedown. This gets very, very interesting now if he can start defending the takedowns. Abdul excellently complementing his striking with a lot of grappling here. Maybe he's trying to set up more takedowns. Well, he certainly needs to keep it up because he was unsuccessful with the first one. Sanjit sprawled perfectly and defended it. And Abdul looking for his openings here. Nice spinning back kick to the body. It just clipped his liver a little bit, but Sanjit has a good guard. He's protecting that right inside and his face and his head. He's a very crafty champion and it's not going to be easy to dispatch him that easily. The referee admonishing him again with the open palm. Sanjeev relying more onto their one, on, onto his one, two, his jab and across. And I think as a champion, he has to show more variety to his striking. I would love to see Sanjeev throwing a lot more kicks and maybe going in for a takedown. Uh, Sanjeev is doing exactly what he does. It's the way he fights. He stands in front of you and waits for <laughs> you to make a mistake. And right now, he's, honestly, he's stifling Badakshi a little bit because I haven't seen Badakshi swing and miss so much in a long time. But that's a big shot. He caught him there a little bit. He caught him clean and now they clinch. Big elbow, big knees, big oh. right hand. And Sanjit stood in the pocket like a champ. He's trying to come back with his strikes now. Body shot. Badakshi starting to open up his combinations. Badakshi proving himself to be a complete fighter with a lot of strikes, a lot of variety of strikes. He's throwing in kicks, he's throwing in a lot of punches, trying to close in the distance. While Sanjeev purely relying on to his one, two. Oh! Oh, oh he got it! He rocked him a little bit. Badakshi might be hurt. Sanjeev Bulbar got him. He's hurt. He's on wobbly legs. I have never seen Abdul Badakshi hurt so far. He might be hurt here. He needs to be careful. And Sanjeev Bulbar realizes it's his moment. He caught him clean with that right hand. But Badakshi might have recovered. Spinning attack again. Sanjit Budwar has Abdul Badakshi on the back foot. Whoa! Very interesting again. Trying to catch him with that overhand right. Nice body shot by Badakshi. I think he's recovered after that. He got cracked with that right hand. Another left hook. Very interesting. Again. Oh! He walked straight into that one, but Badakshi trying to return fire here. Slug oh! 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 He's done it! Sanjeev Budwar has knocked out Abdul Azim Badakshi! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I... Wow, 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 wow! Man, oh man, ladies and gentlemen, that was something to watch. Well, that's absolutely epic and electric. The MFN featherweight title is still vacant. We've got the winner, Sanjeet Budwar. The, cloud, the crowd is going wild and mad here in the stadium. Sanjeet has proven once again why he's the silent killer, he, why he was the ultimate and the undisputed MFN featherweight champion. He literally, brutally knocked out Abdul Azim Badakshi. Well, I've not seen Abdul going down ever in his career like this. Absolutely crazy here. A lot of celebrations here for Sanjeet Budwar. Well, for sure, let's look at the action replay. Abdul throwing in a kick. And this is the big left hand that dropped Abdul. Delivered a brutal knockout. First time in his career at the hands of 
MFN's erstwhile featherweight champion Sanjeet Budwar. Well, it's been an absolutely crazy night here. Sanjeet missed weight. Sanjeet bhai kal apna weight nahi de paaye. Is wajay se unhe title se apna haat dhona pada. But aaj unhone apna jhanda yahaan lehra diya hai. Aur dikha diya hai ki wo abhi bhi MFN ke featherweight champion hai. Ye dekhiye. Oh! What a big left hand that delivered the knockout. A lot of respect between both these fighters. They've been friends for a long time. They, in fact, were staying together in Bombay. They shared a room a couple of years back when they were fighting at a different promotion. An excellent, excellent fight between both these guys. Started off with a little bit of uh, challenges in the fight. There was low blow. There was, uh, uh, there was a poke in the eye, but it all ended well and in favor of Sanjeet Budwar. However, MFN's featherweight title is still vacant. And let's see who Sanjeet or maybe someone else takes on in the next edition of Matrix Fight Night to claim the MFN featherweight title. And it's going to be exciting to see who will come up and challenge Abdul Azim Badakshi. I think... A lot of people will turn on to Instagram right now and maybe go ahead and challenge Sanjeev in the featherweight division or maybe Abdul Azim Badakshi. The first prospect or the first name that I see in the list is Sham Anand, who in the previous edition of MFN fought Sanjeev Budwar and lost via split decision. Both these warriors up onto their feet. Well, it's been an excellent night of fights here. A big shout Ladies out. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jim Purdy has called the stop to this fight after three minutes and 18 seconds of round two. For your winner, by knockout, the silent killer, Sanji! What a match! What a punch! Puri dunya beach me lagi thi paaji. What a match! Or ek dum suddenly beach me aake aapka lag gaya. Kaisa lag raha hai? Because itne saare log aaye the, dono ke itne hi powerful the. Is saare log aapke liye aaye the, sawal uthaye ja rahe the. और आप जीते ये लो आपका जय बापा ही भाई सारे भाई आने हैं यो भाई आपका सवाल था कि आपका सवाल था सारे भाई आए थे ये भाई फाइट देखना आए थे इन द फाइट देखा थी भाई सारे भाई आप बहुत बहुत नवाद भाई बहुत बहुत नवाद भाई इतने दूर का आने खातर है फाइट देख खातर भाई हर कैमरा शायद आखिरी फाइट भी उसका है कैमरा पेरना भी मिला देखने में है ये तमाशे रोज रोज ना उनपे भाई और जो थरी इच्छा हो वो फेर हो जाएगा भाई तो ये दिक्कत ना आपकी पूरी टीम के लिए जोरदार तालियां the fight of the night, the knockout, Sanjeev Budwar. And after this fabulous fight, what do you want to say? Thank you very much, Nawad Azmin, Warriors, Puri and Mahmoud, Thank you very much, 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 My Guru Ji, Ruinder Singh, Thank you very much, मैंने उड़े तो शुरुआत करी थी उनका भाई बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद 
सब का भाई बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद भाई देखने का तरह आपने सबका दिल खुश कर दिया पूरी टीम खुश हो गई है संजीत बुधवार के लिए हिप 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 ऑल राइट ओवर टू द कॉम्स एंड दैट वाइंड्स अप द फाइट्स फॉर द नाइट थैंक यू थैंक यू